What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Southern Tech once again, and today I have a really cool kit coming from Antech that I want to go over. It's the Prism 120 ARGB kit. It essentially is all the lighting, all the RGB lighting that you could ever want for your custom PC build, and I'll show you why right here in a second. But first, if you guys wouldn't mind checking out my affiliate link for Cutting Edge Gamer down in the description below, you can lease GPUs. And I use this as a content creator to get my hands on more GPUs for reviews. So if you're starting out as a content creator doing tech YouTubing stuff, you should definitely check it out because you can swap out the cards as much as you want. And when you swap them out, you're, you basically uh, just restart your lease term. And it's a way that you can basically, like I said earlier, get more content for your tech tube channel. So without further ado, let's talk about this little kit. Antec sent it over. So yes, it's not a sponsored video by Antec, but it is a, uh, a free item. That being said, it is three 120 millimeter fans and two light strips with a controller. And this case over here is actually a perfect example of one you might want to put this into also by Antec, which is the DF500 that we'll be doing a PC mod in later. And we'll get this open, I think. Ooh, awesome. So getting it open, you'll kind of just go through all of the accoutrements you have. A quick start guide it looks like showing you how to hook the fans up in each one of these there is a fan so there's one two and three and then in here are the RGB strips and then you have the controller so there's everything that comes in the box you can actually pick this up on Amazon for $60 and you're getting a controller with it. The, the value is absolutely insane. Now these fans aren't like crazy going to win the world, but they are 25 millimeters th thick. It is a hydraulic bearing. It is addressable RGB, which is the good RGB of course. And you have a max fan speed of 2000 with a CFM of 45 the air pressure so uh, millimeters h2o is a 2.56 and the fan noise at max is stated to be 32 decibels so there you go it is a four pin fan so i think if we take this out here we can see the connector and so as you can see it's actually just the standard RGB connector, which is nice. The thing is, is they put a little block off so you can't connect it to the regular one. And I'm wondering why that is other than I guess in the fan control box, which let's take out right now. Oh, <clears throat> I can't get it open. There we go. Let's get the fan controller out. I'll show you guys how this works, hopefully. Hopefully. So there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's interesting. So there's five, which means you would only be able to go up to five fans, which in theory would be okay, I suppose. And then this would go out to your, is it this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the controller is going to be enough for exactly all of these fans. You can't add any more. You would have to get another controller, but it'll be exactly enough for this entire kit here. Let me get the RGB strips out, which are magnetic. So as you can see here, woohoo, there you go. So magnetic RGB strips does have a layer of film over it that you'll need to remove, but we're not going to remove it right now. And let's just uh, get it hooked up. I have this power supply over here and a 24 pin jumper so we can do this. Each fan is just essentially going to plug into the controller like so. Let me get this out of the way. That would be easier. So you could do fans because they did give you five fan ports here, but they only also gave you 
5 RGB, which I guess you could just do a splitter on if you really wanted to. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, so the strips are just going to plug in like so. And then you'll just want to plug in the fan and the RGB. It does come with some double-sided Velcro or Velcro strips for you to put on the actual controller itself. Let me make sure that this power supply is off before we plug it up so I don't blow anything up. And then the controller is just powered with a SATA port. So you just pop in the SATA and we should be good to go. I say that. Oh, this is a bad 24 pin jumper. But there you go. My jumper's a little bit messed up, but ta-da! Now, currently we have no control over this. But it does have a PWM connector, it looks like, here. We're just making a mess, primarily because I have way too many cables connected to that. Okay. So you can synchronize with your motherboard by connecting this pin right here into the controller and then this would plug in to any of the compatible motherboards. It does say ASUS Aura Sync, MSI, and ASRock. It does appear to be lacking the Gigabyte branding, but that it's the same format, so it should be perfectly fine. I don't see there being any issues with that. And then you have the PWM controller as well, which will allow you to adjust the fans, of course, via the motherboard. So all in all, for $60, this is a great kit. These fans are currently cranked to 100 percent so 2000 rpms and i'd say about 32 decibels is correct it's not super loud uh, but there is definitely a pretty good buzz going on and it is very very speedy that's moving a lot of air those are moving a lot of air that's really cool i love it i don't want to lose all the screws it does come with screws I really don't want to lose any of this. Yeah, so I'll just double check. That's the PWM. Yep, yeah, and that's just to control the fan speed. So it'll all sync up directly with your motherboard, which is super duper convenient everything you could want. Okay, so for $60, this kit is pretty awesome. Now the fans obviously aren't magnetic or anything crazy like that. The RGB implementation looks really, really nice. It is addressable RGB, so you're a little bit higher up there. You're gonna get two light strips that are magnetic along with three fans and the controller for a price that I don't think you can beat anywhere else. This is Kind of my new favorite all-in-one kit, of course, going with something like the NZXT Hue is going to be a little bit more expensive, so keep that in mind if you decide you want to go that route. There are other options that are going to have a little bit more robust options. That being said, everything here will integrate directly with your motherboard. It has the PWM converter to go through to the controller, so basically all the fan speeds will be controlled by your motherboard very easily and all of the RGB can be controlled directly through the applications that we mentioned earlier that's built in to the motherboard. We'll be putting this with an ASUS motherboard here shortly and it'll be going in this case as well and we'll get everything wrapped up. We do have three more of these fans on the front and this has another controller in the case that controls those. I do wish that they had more controller options that being said, I think we can, we all we really have to do is split off the addressable RGB with a splitter to the additional fans that we want to add into the controller, which is definitely something I'll be doing with that. 
I think this is a really great kit. I'm gonna leave links to it in the description below. So be sure to go check that out. And if you guys like the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday.